everyone welcome back to another scrapbook layout and thank you for joining me again today I am doing a few double page layouts okay well let me rephrase that I did a couple double page layouts for you guys um, however I lost the footage on three of them I did four over the weekend and that would probably be the weekend before the weekend after this goes up um, whatever don't need to make it confusing but I did four of them. I was super proud. I was like, yay, because I wanted to get some content up for you guys. I've been doing my catching up on daily life and I'm really ahead of the game here. And I was like, okay, this is going to give me more time to get caught up on that and record more of those videos. But it will also put 12 by 12 layouts onto the, you know, my channel since not everybody probably wants to see the daily life videos. So trying to, you know, make everybody happy. And then I went to do the voiceover for this one and they were gone. <laughs> I, I'm really, I, I've mentioned in a few videos that I've been having computer problems. I'm scared to get a new computer. I know there's different, all kinds of different software and I just don't want to learn it. But for now, I'm going to keep using this one until I can no more. Um, my husband tinkled, tinkled, not tinkled. That sounds really bad. My husband dinked around with my computer a little bit and um, made it work. Sorry, I'm a little thrown off now by that. But Anyways, long story short, it's working at the moment, so I'm going to keep it going. I figure after I do this vo voiceover, I will probably go record a video and just show you the layouts that I made because, um, you know, I made them and you guys probably want to see them, so why not share them anyway? I'm just disappointed that I don't have the footage for them since I was so excited to be caught up. Anyways, I will have more catching up on daily life videos coming. If you are interested in those videos, I just kind of wanted to go back and forth and not just do all of the same thing at once. So I am using this collection. I, I don't know. I want to say it's called Fish Tales and it's by Photoplay. I'm not sure if that's the exact same name. I will have a link below to this collection. It's, I love this collection. It, I was so excited when they came out. I have not been, not that I'm not a fan of Photoplay, I just haven't been a huge, I haven't bought a lot of their stuff. And so I really, no reason why, it just didn't, I've just never really gotten into them. But I've noticed in this last year, their stuff I'm really getting more and more interested in and you will see some more of their stuff coming up. I This one was one of my favorites. I just love all the fish and you could make this work. So little confession time here. I got this collection and I planned a trip to an aquarium that's near us. It's like, you know, it takes a day, a day trip because we have to drive to the beach and all that stuff. Um, but yes, I did plan that trip because I knew I had this collection. <laughs> I don't do that a lot, <laughs> but I wanted to use this collection and that you can use this collection for a lot of things. You could use it for beach pictures, for swimming pictures, any kind of water, anything, you know, maybe you have a home aquarium or maybe even a trip to the pet store to look at the fish. It could be anything. Or even if you just wanted to make it about your little boy or something, it doesn't matter. But I really, there was some elements in it that says, you know, aquarium, day at the aquarium, blah, 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 aquarium. So I did purposely say to my husband, hey, how about we go to the aquarium? And I don't usually do that. So I wasn't, I didn't feel bad. And we had a really good day and it was a lot of fun. So I am glad we went. It is not, it's an expensive aquarium. And so it's not somewhere we go to a lot. We did think about buying a membership because it's basically, you buy the membership and it's paid for at least one trip, right? But, um, because it takes a couple hours to drive there, we didn't, we don't usually buy it, but we did talk about buying it and going a little more frequently, but we went this day and what I'm doing now is I'm putting together a kit. I can't remember. I've done this voiceover a few times now and had to restart. So if I haven't mentioned it, this is a kit that I purchased. I'm not really happy with this kit. The person that I, the people that I bought this kit from, I'm not going to buy the kits anymore because I just their instructions are not user friendly. I just put it that way. Um, I don't usually need a lot of instructions, you know, with kits, just kind of basically tell me what to cut it to and I'm good. This one had quite a few things that were very difficult to read. Um, 
the way that it told you to put it together and there was a couple pieces of paper that didn't even tell you what size to cut it to at which one would be the stripe paper so i finally just threw those kits it's funny because i i even videotaped myself wrinkling up and shredding the the, the instruction sheet because I got so frustrated with it. I'm like, forget this, but I decided maybe I better leave that out. <laughs> um, so I don't think that's in here, but I went ahead and once I started kind of, I'm putting it together mostly like she had it, but I'm kind of going to just do my own thing from there. And and I'm, I'm happy with the end result, but it's not, there's a few things that I couldn't do what the kit had simply because it didn't line up because I didn't know how to line it up because there was no instructions on it so but I'm happy with the end result and it turns out really cute and again these are pictures from the aquarium and these are pictures so these are the pictures this is us with the octopus that's at the aquarium this octopus is so cool he's been there for a long time and I just like that this is my favorite part of the aquarium is this guy he is just so cool to me and I got some really good pictures of him this time around because he was like on the glass and everything and he was moving around a lot that day we went back to look at him a few times so that was really cool um so the reason I picked these though is because I had some other photos from the aquarium visit that day that were just random ones from all around but when I started to put this kit together I noticed there was some octopus stickers around and so I decided I was going to do these photos you know I had five of them although I changed the orientation and stuff a little bit of a couple of the photos in the placement but I had five of them and it ended up working really well so that's why I chose these photos um Again, I really love the colors, the colored background, the interesting thing. So, you know, and I just realized this is not an Echo Park collection. I was thinking they just added Echo Park papers, but that teal colored Echo Park or that teal colored background is from Echo Park, I believe. And it was from a different collection. Um, I can't remember the collection it was from, like maybe Crafty Girl, one of those echo park collections that's about scrapbooking i want to say and so i thought that was really interesting because look how well it goes with this photo play photo play collection and there's there's the sticker sheet um, one thing i've noticed with photo play is they don't have a whole lot of elements which i'm finding myself enjoying a little bit more and i'm going to talk about that later on but um it, I think I'm getting a little overwhelmed with all of the die cuts and there's more die cut packs and now there's one chipboard sheet and two chipboard sheets and one has phrases and one has frames and tags and to me it's getting to be just a little bit too much so um, I was kind of enjoying this I had a little ephemera pack with not very many ephemera pieces in it and I was okay with that and the sticker sheet and that's about it to this collection and I did purchase a couple of the solid papers I ordered the this kit I had this kit and then I bought the paper collection and then I bought a few extra papers not realizing that photo plays paper collections must come with two of each sheet whereas a lot of them like Echo Park and stuff like that usually their collection packs only have one of each sheet um, at least that I can remember uh, I could be totally wrong don't don't quote me on that okay but I so I have a few extra papers to this but that's okay because like I said I can make them work for anything it doesn't have to be just aquarium pictures and I have more aquarium pictures and I actually have luckily I have a few more uh, photos to scrap from that aquarium I'll probably go work on that today as well if not tomorrow and I ho maybe hopefully I'm a little afraid to record anything anymore because it seems like I'm just gonna lose the footage but I gotta keep keep on swimming right <laughs> maybe I can do a page with this about me keeping on swimming with my computer that doesn't like me um, I am so this is the layout I'm putting it together basically like I said somewhat following it, the sketch I was originally I think going to put my journaling over on the right hand side kind of to the left of the photo above the the middle photo there the above the four by four photo I think that's four by four it's either four by four or three by four but I decided to go ahead and use this fishtails three by four square I love that it was a 
three by four cut apart that had journaling on it or journaling lines. I, I really think collections need to add some more journaling aspects to their collections. And I've mentioned that before, so that is nothing new. But um, I went ahead and used that card because that space felt very empty. And I wasn't really sure at this point, you guys will not see me add a couple things. I am going to add a few things in the end, like the title and um, I think, oh, some Nouveau drops, you know, the clear crystal drops, I think they're called, where there's it's not glitter or anything. They're just clear drops. I don't do those on camera, but you can see it in the still shot photos. Funny thing is, I did this voiceover not long after realizing I lost all the other footage, and I was not happy in that video. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and redo this voiceover. So I, that's another reason I'm not sure what all I've mentioned and what I haven't mentioned. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but... I was not in a happy mood that day, and um, I'm sure you guys can understand why, but uh, my husband between then and now actually got the still shot photos that I had thought I'd lost as well. So at least I have still shot photos at the end of this for you, and you know, that's it, but it's better than nothing. So. This is the little die cut pack that I had that I was mentioning. Uh, I feel like I needed something in that space on the left between the two four by six photos. It really needed something there. And I really like this little die cut that says a day at the aquarium, but I didn't want to use it because to me it, it kind of threw off the whole aquarium word banner that I already have on the right below that crab. And so I just end up not I end up not using that uh, the day at the aquarium, but I found another octopus sticker and added that down. And you can see the octopus sticker that's on the right hand side in that little cluster. And this is pretty much going to be my layout. I did take out these Queen and Company epoxy dots and I will leave a link below because these are so neat. None of the big ones. So if you don't like big enamel shapes, these are perfect because there's like two different sizes and there's medium and small and that's it. And so I put an orange one, a blue one, and a green one in, around the page. Not really in any certain spot. I am going to move some. And then after I was done with that, I did my journaling and I found on the sticker sheet this word that said fun. And so I'm going to put that in between those two four by six photos. And you can see that here at the end shot photos. So Thanks so much for watching. And also there in that photo, you can see the little clear crystal drops. I put those all over the page, kind of to mimic the thought and feel of bubbles being around since we're at an aquarium. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. And yeah, I guess that's it. Bye. Have a great day.